Welcome back everyone. Let's talk about user input. Oftentimes we have to get user input from the user. So how do we do that? Well, the specifics differ from language to language, but oftentimes you have to call the console for the user input. Something like this. Usually the console will look like this. The console will look like it's waiting for the user to input something. But for now, we have nothing to store in the user's input. Let's declare a string variable called input and let's not set it. Remember, non-set string variables are set to null. Once you are finished that, you can add the word input to the brackets in readline. So the variable input is set to whatever the user types in. In this case, input is now set to banana. So how do we know that setting the variable input to banana has actually happened? Well, we can add in the right line and print the input. The console would look something like this. It's just that easy, but what about numbers? Let's have the user enter a number and do a little bit of math. Generally, we always need to have the user input to a string. I know what you're thinking. We can't add strings to numbers, but we can if we add a line of code like this. Let's change the input to an int. Once you add an int, the variable input, which was once a text, is now an integer. So we can add numbers to it. So if the user inputs a 1, then the console will output a 2, because 1 plus 1 is 2. Remember the first line is an input, and the second line is an output in the console. Well, that concludes the tutorial. I'll see you guys in the next tutorial.